Well, I've decided to do another abstract painting. I've been watching a lot of classes on Skillshare and on YouTube. I'm suffering from a lot of anxiety at the moment and I really want to express that. And I'm gonna try a layering method. And what I'm gonna do first is paint this whole canvas all the way around in this very weak looking color that I've got here. It's just a bit of burnt umber mixed with a bit of yellow and also a bit of red and white. I have no idea what color it's come out as, but I don't care. I want quite a dark color underneath. And I'm kind of scrubbing it into this canvas to give me the texture that I want. And this will allow me, hopefully, to layer over the top of it. I am gonna do the sides as well, because I think it's important when you do a picture to do the sides. And what I do tend to do is I tend to do a painting and do it all in one go and try and get a brilliant effect. And as you know, I'm still learning and I'm very, very, I'm right at the beginning of my learning journey for abstract painting. So I've been watching lots of videos. I do have a discount for the first 500 people on Skillshare. This isn't sponsored by them, just to let you know. But I do have a discount code that I'll put down below and you get your first month free. I'm hoping doing this helps me think about my anxiety while I'm doing it. So a bit of cognitive painting and also helps me represent it. I don't know if it will, but I'd like to think it will. And I always find creating like this or making art or doing anything helps with my anxiety a great deal. So if nothing else, it's going to have helped. So that's my base colour. None of that may show at the end. Who knows? And I'm going to try and get this to be quite a loose painting because my anxiety makes me really anxious and tight and hit up all the time. So I'm going to try and get this to be quite a, a loose painting. I find that really hard. But we will see. So now what I'm going to do is let that dry before I start any of my other layers. So now I've got that done, what I'm going to do is, that's lovely and dry, I'm going to go over it with some other colours. Now the first one I'm going to go over it with is a red. Just to dull off whatever that colour is here. But I'm probably going to leave it like this so some of that colour shows through as well. And this is what I'm doing for my layers. I'm allowing this to layer up. I'm just using normal acrylic paints, not the expensive ones, just some cheap ones. And now I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in it in some places as well, because that will make a, a bright orange, I hope, while well, that's still wet. Yeah, quite like that. And now I'm going to spray it with some water, and hopefully I'll get some runs and different bits and pieces coming through there. And again, this is just going to be my background. This is what I'm going to paint over and onto. Not too happy with that bit there. And now I'm going to prop it up and let it run and do whatever it wants to do. So now that's dry, what I'm going to do is go over it with some raw sienna as well. Doing another one of those thin colour washes. And I haven't washed my brush out from the last time I did it either. So I want it a little bit thinner than that. So bring it around. And this is still my under base. I'm just using lots of different layers here. Then I'm just going to spray this again and let that rip again around there but those colors are starting to come through i'm really enjoying this layering technique not sure how many more layers i'm probably going to put on here for the base but this is probably might be the last one i'm just going to give it a bit of spray and then hold it up and let that kind of do its own thing again by having it tipped up like that now that's got a few runs in it what i'm also going to do just take a bit of a scrunched up paper towel like this and go in it and remove some as well. This is the messiness of my anxiety. <laughs> Trying to keep order where there's no order or where there shouldn't be order. That's it. And now I'm going to leave that like that and then let it dry. So what I'm going to do now is put my paints on. But I'm not going to use these lines as like paint by numbers and colour in these lines. I've just got these lines really to help me visualise where I am. I'm not sure that makes too much sense. So I'm going to use some colours. I've got some Viridian here and I'm going to put that on. Now I'm going to try not to overpower each area. And like I said, this base colour might not even show at the end. Now I'm putting marks in as I go around as well. And some of these marks may stay, some of them may go. Who knows? For me, it's just about trying to loosen up and think about how much I try to control everything I do when I'm painting. And I don't want to have that control there. I want to try and loosen up 
that control. I think having layers really going to help me and being a little bit less controlling over it. And I think it's going to help my anxiety a lot more. So I'm just popping in with a sponge and some different colours, moving it around until I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. And by putting the colours like this next to each other, I'm hoping I get a kind of blend in. So a bit of dark, a bit of pale blue coming through. I'm going to twist this around as well, because if not, I'm going to keep going all in the same direction. And I don't want that to happen. And if I make a little bit of mud, I'm fine with that. Mud, after all, I've been told is a brown. And that's just a colour, isn't it? So <laughs> I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to avoid putting too much black and white together because I don't really want any grey bits to this picture. I think having a bit of black and a bit of white gives you those contrasts that you need from... Well, that's what I've learned, what I've been watching on Skillshare and on YouTube. So what I'm going to do now is leave that, let that dry, and then add some more layers to it once it's dry. That is so freeing as well. I feel really free doing this. I've just got a bit of paint that I like what it looked like on the back of that. So I'm giving that, I've just popped that on. So this is all nice and dry now. So what I'm going to do is, with my brush, just go in and put some bits. Now this is quite a watery colour because I want the underpainting to come through here because I'm going to still put some more layers on this. I now want to kind of bring out and brighten it up a little bit. And I'm just softening this off now with a little bit of water on my brush. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put another layer over the top of that. Well, this is all lovely and dry now and I'm going to put my final layer on, I think. What I've got here is some bits of old Cricut mat. They're quite bendy and I've cut them into different sizes. And I've also got some cardboard for this next stage. And I really just want to brighten it up to show that after my anxiety and I have a real bad anxiety attack or panic attack, there's actually brightness that usually comes from it. So this is all the anxiety. And I've released all that and now the brightness is coming through. And all I'm going to do is I've got some paint on my card. And I'm just going to bring some bits through like this. But I want that background to still come through in places as well. I'm doing this wet on wet because I want it to blend in with some of these colours and soften those edges like that there. And I'm just putting some marks in as well to give it some of those that feeling of being not so uniformed. And again this allows me to soften off any of these dark bits that I'm not too pleased with and the muddy bits as well that I'm not too pleased with. And now to give it that final contrast I am going to put some more black in it but I'm not going to dilute this black in any way. I just want it to be there so it kind of draws your eye. And then I'll probably put some white near it as well. I don't want it to turn grey. I'm not too happy with this big blue patch here and here. I think that's too much. So I'm going to let that dry off a little bit and then just add something to brighten those areas up. So they're nice and dry. Well, all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of red and yellow into here. I'm just going to break those up. Yeah, and I think that's it. I think I'm done now. I'm really pleased with that. As I've said all through, this is all about my anxiety. So a mess and then really tight, trying to make control, then trying to lose control and then letting all that shine through and come into like the colour and the realisation afterwards. I'm going to go around and pop some colours on these edges just a little bit, just to break these edges up a bit and then let it dry overnight. Give it a quick varnish, and then I'll show you what it looks like varnished. Well, there we go. That's the picture all finished. I absolutely love it. It's definitely, without a doubt, my best picture I've ever done with abstracts. So just having a few lessons and watching a few lessons has really made me understand what I should be doing and being able to put that into practice. It's made such a difference. I loved it. I loved every moment of painting this. Now, I, again, I'm no artist and I'm no expert and no specialist in this, but I feel that I've really come a long way with my painting. And more practice, more learning can only make it better. And I look forward to that journey. Sorry about the echo in here, but this room isn't normally where I record. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. Anybody suffering from anxiety or depression, there are loads of people out there that can help you. So please, just do yourself a favour. Do a search online and talk about it. Talking is good. Take care. Enjoy your crafting as much as I do. Bye.